you know, and I'm sorry if my hair looks horrible. I am trying to figure out how to get this uncrimped because my hair is naturally wavy. So I am apologizing if I look weird. I've been trying to get my hair in the right position ever since I got up this morning. Today I want to talk about Oh, today I want to talk about dreams. I just really want to talk about dreams. You know what I'm saying? I want to talk about dreams. And I want to talk about the validity of a dream and some of the things that you might think are kind of weird, but you never know, never knew that it was a situation, if you know what I'm saying, like stuff that you would think that is not that bad stuff that you would think oh it's just a dream it's not that serious it's not this it's not that you would be very surprised what you will find out in a dream <sighs> some of the stuff that I'm about to tell you this is only just because of what I've been through this is not oh she can read minds and stuff like that no I'm just telling you some of this stuff is kind of scary to me but I pray about it give it over to God I can't tell you how many times I've had dreams about celebrities and the next thing you know it happens and I'm like, wow, was this a sign from God? Was this a sign from the underworld? Now me, I'm going to say it's a sign from God because I grew up in church. But to be real, I just don't understand it. Like one dream I remember I had and something happened and I was just like, well, what the heck happened? Like I'll give you an example. Now, if I say this, please don't take it the wrong way. But I had a dream about, you know, who is the, the R&B queen now, now that everybody's gone. Tony Braxton. Had a, I had a dream about their family. And it was just weird. Like, everybody was sitting around the table. And it's like there was this person sitting next to her. And it's like she was trying to tell her family that I guess she was coming out or something like that. And all of a sudden, here's this person. She's touching on them, kissing all over them. Next thing you know, I walk in the door and everybody looks at me and it's just like this evil eye where you just see nothing. And I'm, <sighs> move, and I'm in the back. And it's like, I guess it was like early 90s because I see my mother. Because <sighs> back in the day, she used to lead like praise and worship services. I am literally sitting in the videotape. The guy has the teleprompter and everything and they're about to do testimony service. I see this really tall, like eight foot tall man, it looks like my dad, I thought it was my dad. He touches my shoulder and he shrinks back down to his normal size. And the moment I could get out of the seat, it's like I kept shifting from this room to the next room, this room to the next room, this room to the next room. And I was like, what? I woke up so confused, so I got on my knees and I prayed and went back to sleep. About three days later, had a dream about Whitney Houston. Like, you think a dream? No, this is a light. It felt like a movie because I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I was dreaming that I was in, like, say I was in, like, a art museum. And I was just watching an art museum and stuff like that. And I was supposed to be, I guess, the janitor and clean some stuff up. I noticed something, like, glowing from one area. So I went over there to go fix it and change the situation. It happened to be a time machine. And I was like, you know, such thing as no time machine. So I'm trying to clean the stuff in my dream is what I'm saying. I'm trying to clean the stuff. And I'm like, you know, such thing as no time machine. This guy come out. It's like, don't touch the time machine. You go back in time. I'm like, man, stop playing. I'm trying to clean this room. I just kept remembering my, myself in this dream. Kept saying, man, stop playing. I'm trying to clean this room. I'm trying to clean this room. Stop playing. Move out the way so I can clean. I just sweep and then I hear a click and it just said 1985 and I'm just like and I'm like where am I and I open the door there's Whitney Houston she just got finished singing right just got finished singing doing a Diet Coke commercial and she's looking at me and I'm like she can't be looking at me. I wasn't even born in 1985. <laughs> Apparently, it was almost like the Back to the Future stuff, though, right? So, no, I'm literally like, this is not happening. I'm like, I just wash my face. It's a dream. And I'm, like, in the bathroom of my dream. Like, I'm just going to wash my face. I don't believe this. You know, I'm not going to sit here and say this is some sorcery stuff. 
I wash my face and I'm like trying to wake up and I'm like somebody opens the bathroom door they're like what's wrong I said man shoot I had this weird <laughs> weird feeling I was like in 1985 and I, done, I was just mopping the floor and stuff I was trying to make sure this art gallery was good for Mr. such and such and I, I just fell back in 1985 and he was like what do you, you mean 1985 like right now like it's <laughs> it's March 28th 1985 I said no it's not man no look and he had a paper and I was like what do you mean I was like this is the high school you didn't know that we, I'm about to graduate in a few days did you not know that I was like okay somebody's pulling a practical joke <laughs> So here all of a sudden I see Whitney Houston. She grabs me by the coattail. We're going in the car. I was like, okay, okay, okay. They have a party. They have a rave or something like that. Somebody go to a frat house. Here she is clowning with all the young people. And get, hey, we singing our songs. Hey. And then we go upstairs. Upstairs was interesting. Everybody's doing us. So you know how it was at makeout parties. Everybody making out with everybody. But then I see she's making out with her manager. So I was like, Nah, this is just a dream. It's just a dream. She ain't no making out with her manager. So then, like, she leaves with three other guys. And I'm, like, running out the house. Like, what the heck just happened? What is she doing? That she can't. So I went to sleep in the dream. And then I was like, okay, as soon as I get up from sleep, I'm going to find out where they took Whitney Houston. Because nobody just takes Whitney Houston. There's, like, three random men. I go... I see outside, I'm just like trying to wake up. I guess she was looking for me or she thought I was somebody. She was like, sweetheart, what are you doing? We were gonna be late for the show. I said, what are you talking about? I'm just trying to rest, let me rest. And then the next thing I know, they, she's talking to me. They literally take her out of the room and close the door and the sound that she makes she keeps trying to tell them no listen I'll give you whatever I want I'll give you whatever I want it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine just wait hold on I didn't mean to I didn't mean to if I if, if I I'll sleep with you if you do this I'll sleep with you if you just let me go just let me go just let me go and I was just like am I hearing stuff correctly because you know when you at a party you're drinking too much I was like wait a minute did I smoke something like no this is not happening in my dream like this is not happening I'll wake up out of the dream and then I was like let me just go back to sleep and literally it was happening again the next thing I know she's screaming at the top of her lungs these dudes are assaulting her forcing her to do all types of things uh, over here I'm getting angry because I'm like now you know what y'all keep it up too much noise I bust the door open they look at me like I did something literally her clothes are completely ripped her hair is all over the place she's bleeding everywhere and I'm talking from down there and I'm like what are you doing and they're like, you're not supposed to be in here. And I'm like, what are you doing? Do you not know who that is? Like, I'm over here in the dream. Like, you do know who that is? That's Whitney Houston. You can't sit there and do that to Whitney Houston. You know what? That's it. I'm calling the police. The moment I could call the police, they get a hold of me and they throw me down the stairs. And I'm like, I don't believe this. You guys just basically brutally assaulted her. And I walk in on it and you throw me down the stairs. Like... Like I said, all of this is just a dream. It's, I've, I've never met her in my life before, but it scared the crap out of me. I was like, in a way, I probably had some good, something good to drink. And I was like, what the heck just happened? She's over there crying. And then I just see her mom coming, and then here comes Robin. And Robin is over there talking to the white people. And I'm like, but I thought they were her friends. I thought she was protecting them. I don't know what that dream meant, but it scared the daylights out of me. I tried to understand it. I tried to look on, on the internet to see if there was a story compared to it. All I know is that it just didn't make sense. Something didn't make sense to me. I've been trying to make sense of that dream ever since it happened last year. Still don't understand what's going on. I'm not saying I'm this dream person, but dreams like that don't just sit in your head and you can remember it. That's what I'm saying. Like There was another dream I had. It was even about my family just last night we were supposed to be moving somewhere and out of nowhere it's like i saw my family just they look like this and then out of nowhere their heads start moving like this and they did that and i was like what is wrong and then their eyes was rolling back in their head and i said 
Jesus, the blood of Jesus, that's a demon. And so I was just like, okay, God, if you just, I kept remembering myself in the dream. Like, okay, God, if you just help me like you did in the last dream I had last year, I think I'd be okay. Just help me get out of this dream. So next thing I know, it's like I see this lion and tiger chasing me. And it's like, what the freak? chasing me chasing me chasing me chasing me i'm running i'm running i'm running i ran into the water and they disappeared what the heck does that mean that's what i'm saying so i'm going to talk about some things sometimes i don't know if it's god because i can't say that because he sends signals in a different message so i don't want to confuse anybody but when dreams happen sometimes i feel like when the truth has been denied for so many years it's like it comes in different ways. It might not make sense, but certain dreams might mean something. You know what I'm saying? So when you see stuff happening, it's not like, oh, you're going crazy. I'm just like looking at the situation like, that's not what I'm seeing. Like you, when stuff like that happens, you almost have to keep looking like, that ain't what I saw. And it be what you saw. So I feel like in some cases, and I don't know if this is true, but I feel like a lot of times spirits, and that's why you got to be careful who you talk to. I feel like sometimes spirits be trying to talk to people. I'm not saying they was talking to me because I don't do that stuff, but I'm be saying like you got to be careful who you listening to, like even on the radio and stuff like that. You don't know what they practice, and it's like the stuff that they get involved in. You can tell that's what they're listening to and what they practice because things will happen when you listen to their music or get involved with their videos or movies another spirit takes over that's why it's important to pray and be careful what you allow your mind and your ears and your eyes to see and hear you know what I'm saying because you just don't want that to be in your head it could have been I just had a, a bad sandwich and grease or something like that or I could have watched a scary movie or something like that but I'm just saying like I've, I've been watching this behavior for a while and I just don't understand what is happening that's all I'm saying. I can't put God in this because I don't know. God doesn't speak like that. He'll speak in dreams, but he doesn't speak in domino effect like that. If he speaks, he's going to be straightforward with what he wants you to say. But it's like this situation, I don't know if it's just spirits or if it's like their music and their way of being is speaking to somebody, meaning that they need help because... Either somebody is letting them know this is not what you think it is and you need to help them or you need to get out of this situation now. Like that's how I took it as like like I don't understand. I, I just I just don't get it because I'm trying to figure out if dreams are just meant to be dreams, why do they have so much meaning? Why do they have so much effect? Why do people wake up out of their sleep and they want to write music or write a book or write a movie script or write or write goals and stuff like that? What are these things mean? So that's what I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to have a series and I'm going to start studying about some stuff when I have time when I'm not studying my homework. But I'm just saying I want to get a better understanding of lucid dreams and just dreams in general because I want to understand and what is this cosmetic or cosmetic <laughs> cosmo however you say it what is this gen uh, like this magnetic force however you put it i don't even know how to put it in layman's terms i'm just saying whatever force it is what does it mean and if you're a scholar help me understand what this means because i don't understand is it a spirit trying to connect with somebody or is god sending a warning or is it just watching too much stuff brings on other spirits i'm going to look for the answer on another episode of sms news channel and i'll be back with you bye bye